If you're watching this video, then much like a lot of other players, you probably want to become professional at Counter-Strike. Why wouldn't you? Making money from playing a game that you love would be the dream. Yet, there are not many places that you can find that will show you how you can actually become a pro player. So in today's video, we will be going through the top 10 ways you can become professional at Counter-Strike. My name is Joe, and welcome to Valve Guides. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly introduce myself. As I said, I am Joe. I've been writing scripts for Braden for just over a year now, and he has given me the opportunity to record my own video, so I hope you all enjoy. Coming in at number 10, we have Join a Serious Team. To make it in CSGO, you have to be a team player. You can't be a lone wolf in this scene, it won't work. If you want to get your name noticed in your country's scene, then you'll need a team. Whilst getting your name out there is incredibly important, being on a team of like-minded players can push you further than you would have ever pushed yourself. Surround yourself with others who share the same ambition as you, and then feed off it. On the other hand, you may hate your teammates. Hopping from team to team won't work. You may have legitimately gotten stuck with a really bad team. However, if you keep hopping several teams and everybody is still irking you, calm down. You might be the problem yourself. In CSGO and life, you will be stuck with people you'd rather not be around. However, you respond to that is equally as important as the people around you. Best case scenario, you have a team with great chemistry that makes everybody push themselves to the next level. Worst case scenario, you are stuck with a horrible team that you have to push through to get to the next level yourself. Either way, be on a team. You need it. There's a whole subreddit devoted to CSGO teams, and you can browse Twitter for about five minutes just to find one. No more excuses. Coming in at number nine is networking. Knowing the right people is well over half the battle. CSGO is an online game, and I'm sure none of you are unfamiliar with this online landscape. You're watching this video. Your online presence is one of the most important things in order to meet the right people in the scene. Whether you're interacting with high-profile players and coaches on Twitter, or equally skilled players on Reddit, it's all important. Most of the members from the group Brockhampton met on a Kanye West forum. If you don't know who they are, look them up and their story. Everything they did can be applied here. Build of a repertoire of connections, treat people right, gain favours, be known for being a good, reliable person. Treat it like a mafia movie if that helps you. Just don't kill anybody. But you know what I mean. Half the reason anybody goes to college anymore is the fact that college makes networking so much easier. But let's be real, you don't need to spend $80,000 to meet the right people. No matter where you live, what country, what time zone, anything. The internet has made it possible for anybody to know anybody. Utilize that, because most people don't. Think about it. Anyone can speak to anyone, and you're just going to sit there and practice and train by yourself? You're going to try and get every good idea by yourself? You're going to find a better team by yourself? No. Talk to people. Be present in the scene. You should be so active that people will see you on different platforms and know who you are from Reddit. Or when you play a game, the other team recognizes you. If you want to be a pro CSGO player, then you have to be in CSGO. Coming in at number eight, we have serious training routine. There are a lot of things that go into a real training routine that is actually beneficial and efficient. We talk about it a lot, but let's drive this home. To make your training routine worth it, you have to craft it for yourself. You have to stay focused, practice intentionally, and treat every minute like it counts because every minute does count. Practice with teammates, practice drills, create plays. Practice isn't just landing headshots on the aimbots map. Definitely use those maps, but don't just settle for that being the only training routine you have. That's just baseline stuff. You should be practicing your aim for about 30 minutes before doing any sort of playing in game. What I'm talking about is drills. Work with your team in game to practice chemistry, positioning, callouts, just everything. Find your weak spots and practice those even harder. At the absolute lowest and bare minimum, you should be practicing two hours a day outside of actual competitive play. If you're trying to be pro, you can't hold any punches. You should be dedicating yourself to practice every single day. Maybe have one or two designated off days in a week, but every work day, you are practicing and getting better. To be a pro, you have to work harder than a pro for no money for a while, no compromises. If you want to be a pro, you have to spend time, take your training seriously. It doesn't matter if it's a video game. You cannot care if people laugh at you for it. Practice with the right mentality and confidence in yourself, combined with solid networking, is a dangerous combo that will end up with your chances of breaking it into the pro scene faster than anything else. At the number seven spot, we have study the game. You need to understand the game to become one of the best. Simply playing it and picking up bad habits whilst doing so will not help you in the long run. You should try listening to the commentary over the pro streams as the casters and analysts will be talking through what the players are doing and how the strategy will work. After each game, the analysts also talk through what has happened and these guys really know what they're talking about. Another way to study the game would be to watch higher rankings slash pro players play. Watching your favorite players stream the game will not only be entertaining, 
but beneficial, as you'll be able to study what he or she does. Watching your replays of games and seeing where you went wrong, or where you didn't check a corner or angle, is also a great way to study the game and to improve for the next match. You could also get a coach to watch you whilst you play, and if you're making mistakes, they can tell you. This is how all the pro teams play anyway, so joining a team with an experienced coach will have a huge impact on the way you learn and play. Even things like reading guides on the internet can help you grow your knowledge of the game. It can give you small bits of useful information, which then can be used to overcome your opponents or give you tactical advantages in matches. Number six, find a life or game mentor. It doesn't matter if you have a mentor in CSGO who is three years older than you or a mentor in your personal life who is 50 years older than you who just talks about life in general. Both is even better, but having a mentor with more life experience than you who you trust and respect is absolutely priceless. Not only will this help you figure out how to practice better and how to balance things better, but it will also help you be more confident and aware in all of life. That will help your mentality daily as you train and as you study the game. On top of all that, having a mentor will help your maturity. When you're a young, promising prospect of a player who are already appealing to teams and orgs, stack maturity on top of that. Within your networking and interaction with your teammates, you become 10 times more appealing to sign and people will be willing to spend money on you. Some people strike it big to have a bombastic personality and as that might work short term, you're still going to need a lot more skill to back that up the more audacious you are. It's just not sustainable. I've digressed from the main point, but mentors who believe in you will change your life for the better in countless ways. CSGO being an internet game makes it way too easy to disconnect from people. Most people who play CSGO don't have a legitimate mentor. Take advantage of that. Learn from those who are more experienced than you, whether it's just a coach or some random lad's granddad. At the halfway point for number five, utilize face it and ESEA. If you want to be noticed for your player skills, grinding out face it to reach FPL Challenger or FPL will help with your recognition and will also drastically increase your chances of being picked up by a high level team as having FPL status is a good solo achievement. FPL is more of a goal for EU as I don't believe that the NA face it scene is as big as the EU's so if you're from NA grinding for rank S this would be the same. It will take a big grind to get to these points however neither of them are impossible and both will significantly increase your name and notice notoriety. ESAA also has built-in forums which you can look and apply for teams using. Faceit also have tournaments daily in which you and your friends can compete and win Faceit points to buy real life items. There are also things called circuits on Faceit and in the UK, the UK circuit is a hub on Faceit for all skill levels and there are cash prizes for whoever tops the leaderboards. These hubs are another good way for you to get your name out in your country scene. At number four, we have competing in ESEA leagues. ESEA leagues are a great place to get recognized. However, you will already need a team. This doesn't have to be a pro team. It can just be a serious team or just a mix of your friends. But going through the stages of ESEA leagues will get you noticed by organizations looking to pick up CS teams. ESEA leagues start at open, which any team can join. If you do well, you progress to intermediate, main, advanced, and then MDL. Once you are at advanced or MDL, you can start to ask organizations for a salary, free tickets to events, or anything along those lines. ESEA leagues also offer good prize pools, and at this stage of the career, you will need to start to show your ability at your best as scouts will constantly be looking for you and your team. Coming in at number three, we have set short-term goals. Of course, the ultimate goal of those of you watching this video is to go pro, but getting from point A to B is not so simple. Short-term goals are necessary to maintain your vision and to be confident in your day-to-day -day training. A lot of the points on this video can be short-term goals, whether it is joining a team, getting a certain shot or pre-fire down, finding a teammate, studying one map of the game, literally anything. Set that as your goal for the next week or two. Get your baseline training in every day and then dedicate every minute to achieving your current short-term goal. Stack up on those short-term goals and say you achieve one a week, you can look back at the end of the month and be more confident that you have mastered four goals. That's incredible. Compare that to practicing your headshots every day for a month and just grinding out comp matches. What have you mastered? Is that even tangible? At number two, we have complete focus. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you have to drop everything else you care about and only think about CSGO and then you'll magically make money. However, when you are working on CSGO and you truly do want to go pro, you should already care about it enough to allot quite a lot of time daily to your goal. What I mean by complete focus is that when you're practicing and working on improving yourself in and outside of the game, that is your only focus in that moment. That means you can't get distracted while you're networking or end up scrolling through Reddit popular tabs for two hours, no listening to EDM while playing a comp 
jump match. No watching the trending tab on YouTube while researching smokes. Totally focus on your goal. If it is truly that important to you, this shouldn't be the most difficult thing to achieve in this top 10. Everybody goes through rough patches and lack of motivation though. Discipline in those moments is what counts the most. This leads us to our final point to drive everything home. And finally at number one, treat every moment as a precious investment. This point is the culmination of everything on this list. The most important point that everything can be boiled down to. Every moment of time is an investment. To choose to do nothing for the sake of it is still an investment, but an investment into failure. Investing some of your time into dedicated relaxation, time with close ones, and other things of that nature are good investments. Don't get me wrong, however, if you care about making it to be pro in CSGO, you will still want to invest more time into that. To make a living, we have to invest more time than we'd probably choose given the choice. But to be able to love playing CSGO and invest time into going pro with it kills two birds with one stone. That being said, you should be treating every moment of practice, research, networking, time with your teammates as precious commodities because that's exactly what they are. Every one of those things is precious if you truly want to go pro. Surround yourself with things that keep you inspired and pushing forward to achieving your dream of going pro. If you can do that and stack every other point into this list on top of that, I have no doubt that you can go pro. We live in an incredible time where that is possible. All you need is a half decent computer and an internet connection, the rest is in your head. So now, the ball is in your court. And that just about does it for today everyone. If you did make it to the end of the video, then giving a like and a subscribe would mean a lot as it does help us. And as I said at the start of the video, I'm a new voice here at Valve Guides and I'll be answering any questions you may have about me or the video in the pinned comment below.